Today we're coming out of the book of Daniel, Daniel 3, 16 to 17, and then we're going to skip down to 24 to 28 in the Message Bible. Again, Daniel 3, 16 to 17, and then 24 to 28 in the Message Bible. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego replied to him, King Nebuchadnezzar, we do not need to defend ourselves before you in this matter. If we are thrown into the blazing furnace, the God we serve is able to deliver us from it, and he will deliver us from your majesty hand. Suddenly, King Nebuchadnezzar jumped up in alarm and said, didn't we throw three men bound hand and foot into the fire? That's right, O king, they said. But look, he said, I see four men walking around freely in the fire, completely unharmed. And the fourth man looked like a son of the gods. Nebuchadnezzar went to the door of the roaring furnace and called in, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, servants of the Most High God, come out here. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego walked out of the fire. All the important people, the government leaders and kings, counselors, gathered around to examine them and discovered that the fire hadn't so much as touched the three men. Not a hair singed, not a scorch mark on their clothes, not even the smell of fire on them. Nebuchadnezzar said, blessed be the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. He sent his angels and rescued his servants who trust in him. They ignored the king's orders and laid their bodies on the line rather than serve or worship any god but their own. When something is irreversible, irreversible, it means not able to be undone or altered. The Hebrew boys found themselves in the midst of the fire, and the king thought it was irreversible. But today we're here to declare God is able to reverse it, reverse, able to modify, able to be, to do the opposite, able to do the contrary, able to turn it around. God is able to reverse it is our war cry focus. Dear gracious and eternal Father, we just say thank you, Abba Father, for being our God, for being our Father, for being our King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Thank you, Father God, for engrafting us into the to, to the Holy of Holies, God. Thank you for using us as your people to praise your name. We want to be just like the angels and say, holy, 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 thou art holy, Father God. So we bow down before your presence on this morning. And God, we lay aside every sin and every weight that's so easily besets us. Our ways are not our ways. Our thoughts are not your thoughts. We are imperfect people serving a perfect Savior. We are imperfect people in need of a great great God. And we thank you today. We know sin is lying at the door. So we determine today to do what is right. And we will resist temptations on this morning. So we ask you on this morning for you to wash us from all unrighteousness. Wash us and make us new again that we can enter your gates with thanksgiving and enter your courts with praise. God, we bask in your presence on today, God. We want to feel, Father God, that mighty thunder on today. God, we want to break some things on this morning, Father God, because God is able, God, for we know in part and we prophesy in part, but we know that which is perfect will come, God. That which is in part shall be done away with, God. When we were a child, we spoke as a child, we understood as a child, we thought as a child, but when we became a man, we put away childish things, God, and prayer ain't childish. This God going before the throne room of grace ain't childish God. This is is not built for the faint of heart, God, to go into your presence, God, in the name of Jesus, God. So we thank you, God, that we desire today to grow up in you, God. We don't want to be on milk, God. We want to digest the meat of your word. Hallelujah to you there. We want to be consecrated for your glory, like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. We want to be steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, God. So today, 
name of Jesus. We're speaking your word into the atmosphere, for it will not return void, God, and it will establish what you send it to do. Establish healing. Establish prosperity to your saints on today, God. We are pliable, for it, it is an inside job, God. We are ready to receive, God, in the name of Jesus, God. Our minds are being renewed as we are praying to you, God. We want, Father God, but not a drip of this word to return void, God. In the name of Jesus, God, we will push our plate aside. We will consecrate. We will do whatever it takes. God, just don't take your presence from us, God. We are your warriors, God. We are on this side of the, 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 the spectrum, God. We are your, 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 your people, God, your chosen vessels, God, in the name of Jesus. So we got our boots strapped on today that we can trample the head of the serpent on this morning, that we can come to your throne with boldness and confidence full of the Holy Ghost, God. Your pro- you promise us, God, to make your people greater than the nations, God. You promise You'll make us greater than the nations, God. The government institution is not greater than your chosen vessels, God. We're the light of this world, Father God. We shine in the midst of darkness, God. And so where the word says the humble shall hear thereof and be glad. So we're glad to see your presence. We're glad to get the victory. We're glad to defend, to, to defeat darkness, God, in the name of Jesus. So let God arise and his enemy be scattered. On today, Father God, we send a special prayer for all the families, Father God, that have lost a loved one to an airplane crash, God. Yes, I'm going to pray for it, God. We're going to pray for it. We are experiencing tragedy and great loss, God. The families in Canada and Afghanistan that lost 170 people, God, this month, God, in the name of Jesus. The families of the two military flights that crashed this month, God. The Bryant family and friends that died in the air plane crash this Sunday, God. We lift up the air community before you right now in the name of Jesus. Cover our aircraft, God. Cover the mechanisms of God. Cover the engineers, God. Cover the pilots, God. Cover the people, God, that are getting on flights, God, on this day, God. Cover our family members, God, in the name of Jesus. Put the blood of Jesus on the airplane community, God, in the name of Jesus, God. Cover our family members that are traveling, God, in the name of Jesus, God. Oh, God, we stand on your word, God. We present our bodies a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable, which is our reason of service, God, because God is able to do it infinitely, abundantly more than we can ask or think. God is a way maker. God is a present help in the time of trouble. God is able to keep us from falling. God is our redeemer. God is our deliverer. God is the wheel in the middle of the wheel. God is the beginning and the end. God is perfect in all his ways. God is worthy to be praised. God is a restorer of our soul. God is majestic, perfect, and unchanged. God. God is a mind regulator. 
God, I thank you for loosening, God. Loose that anger. Loose that hardened heart. In the name of Jesus, we're reversing it right now, God, in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Holy Ghost. I thank you. Reverse, reverse the unforgiveness and contempt we've been carrying, God. Reverse the infection of rejection. Reverse the infection from the abuse that means treatment that we experience, God, in the name of Jesus. Reverse the diagnosis from the doctor. All sickness that's irreversible in the name of Jesus. We are commanding together in agreement by the power of the Holy Ghost that that sickness will be reversed. In the name of Jesus, we command it because God is able. God is able to reverse that diagnosis, God. And we're believing by faith, God. In the name of Jesus, we're ready today. We're ready today for you to reverse it, God. Open up the blind eyes. Heal the bed sores, God. Some people have been laying in the bed, in the hospital bed with bed sores. And I'm asking you to heal them. Reverse, God, in the name of Jesus. Reverse mental illness, God, in the name of Jesus. Reverse, Father God, depression. Reverse the disability, God. Reverse the learning disorder, God. Reverse the stutter from stuttering, God. Reverse the illness of children having cancer and leukemia, God. Reverse that divorce decree on this morning, God. Reverse it in the name of Jesus. Reverse it that you can be glorified, God. In the name of Jesus. Reverse, God. Reverse, 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 reverse. Oh, God, I hear you, Holy Ghost. Reverse that financial bondage. Reverse. God is able to reverse it. Reverse the generational curses, God. That alcohol addiction, the drug addiction, God. That lying demon, we reverse it right now, God. That spirit of pornography, we reverse it. In the name of Jesus, we loose. We loose the spirit of the Holy Ghost on today. Oh, God, reverse it, God. Reverse it in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, I thank you. Reverse that suicidal spirit. We tell it to go to the pit of hell in the name of Jesus. Reverse that seducing spirit. Reverse the curse of Jezebel, God. Reverse the prison and anxiety and PTSD, God, in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, we thank you, God. Reverse traumatic brain injury on today, God, in the name of Jesus. Reverse. Reverse, 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 reverse. Oh, God, I feel the Holy Ghost. Reverse, reverse. You're commanding it now in the atmosphere. Reverse. God, oh, God, I thank you. I thank you. You gave us power and authority and dominion. So we are exercising and exercising our gifts today. Reverse the strong grip of the enemy. Reverse the teenager who won't come home at night. Reverse rebellion and lawlessness. Reverse that conviction. Reverse that sentence. Reverse, God, in the name of Jesus. Reverse the unemployment notice, God. Reverse, God, in the name of Jesus. Reverse the brokenhearted, God. Reverse, God. You're able, God. God is able. Reverse the snares and the traps, God, in the name of Jesus. And reverse us getting burned in the fire, God. In the midst of the fire, we know that you are with us. Jesus is with us, God. And so we thank you that today we have been given a word and we have been mandated by you to speak things into existence, into the atmosphere today. And we reverse every curse. We reverse every lie. We reverse it in the name of Jesus because God is able. Ephesians 3 and 20. Now to him who is able to do far more abundantly beyond all that we ask or think according to the power that works within us. Let the words and the meditation of our hearts be acceptable unto you, O Lord. It is our reasonable service to know that we have power to reverse. In Jesus' name, God is able to reverse. Amen and amen.